How to share your viral content on Twitter. Post the viral Twitter content on your Twitter timeline. After you have posted the actual viral content, video, or link, or picture, tag influential accounts in your niche. These are people who already follow this type of content. Tag them to get their attention. If you've done your research properly, you should know who these people are. Chances are you are syndicating some of their content as well. Also, by this point, you already know what kind of niche-related hashtags people interested in your type of content would use. Use these hashtags. The trick here is to use Hootsuite or any other type of auto-publishing tool to rotate your hashtag. I cannot emphasize this enough. You have to rotate your hashtags. Why? When people are interested in a particular niche or a particular narrow range of subjects, they use hashtags. They are like the search engine keyword phrases you are targeting. The problem is, you don't know which hashtags will drive the most traffic. You're completely in the dark. This is why you have to rotate your hashtags. Eventually, when you look at your statistics and you just look at the timing of the traffic coming from Twitter, you should be able to connect the dots. You should be able to take an educated guess as to which specific hashtag set accounted for the niche search and traffic. Don't forget to rotate your hashtags. Failure to do so is going to be a missed opportunity. You're going to be blowing it big time if you don't bother to rotate hashtags. You should already know what hashtags are hot in your niche. It's a good idea to keep collecting hashtag ideas and rotating among them to see which ones actually produce the most results. Fill up your Twitter feed using auto-publishing tools like Hootsuite. The good thing about Hootsuite is that you can use a database file using the CSV format to input content data. You don't have to manually enter each piece of content that you want Hootsuite to publish for you. If you're using MS Excel and saving it as a CSV, make sure that you are rotating your hashtags. Make sure that you are resharing or retweeting certain content and then rotate the hashtags. Even if you are not retweeting curated content, you should still rotate your hashtags. Again, the key here is to constantly experiment to see which hashtag actually accounts for the surge of traffic your conversion page has gotten. Do this while auto publishing. While Hootsuite is doing its thing, you shouldn't just sit back, relax, and wait for the cash to come in. I know that's what a lot of make money online books or internet marketing riches books tell you to do. That's the hype. That's definitely the dream. Unfortunately, dreams are often very different from the reality. If you want your curated viral content social media account marketing campaign to be successful, you have to roll up your sleeves and do something on the side. While your stuff is auto-publishing, look for competitors' accounts on Twitter. You should already have a list of these. Look at their followers and pay attention to the most active ones. These are the ones that are basically tweeting every single day and then filter them based on their niche specificity. Look at their Twitter feeds. What do these followers normally tweet about? If you can see a tight correlation between your content and the stuff that they are constantly tweeting or retweeting, follow them. This is crucial. Follow them. Here is how this can lead to you getting more followers on Twitter. Generally speaking, when people follow other accounts, a certain percentage of the people they follow will in turn follow them back. This is follow me and I follow you. It's all about reciprocity. Now, this should not be surprising. After all, when you are nice to somebody, chances are quite good that they will be nice back to you. That's how the human mind is wired. When people follow you back automatically on Twitter, that's just reciprocity in action in the digital world. This is a very powerful form of promotion because the people following you back are more likely to be in your niche target audience. These are people who are more likely to be truly interested in what you have to share. Eventually, they might keep seeing your conversion page tweets enough times that they take action. Just remember that a part of the reason why the total number of click-throughs on Twitter is relatively low compared to other social media platforms is because of the rule of eight. In other words, People get so bombarded with so much information on Twitter that they basically have to keep seeing the same piece of content over and over again for them to think that it's okay to click on it. In their minds, sheer familiarity means that somehow the content is somewhat trustworthy to take a chance on that content. Whatever the case may be, keep retweeting your stuff using tools like Hootsuite while at the same time directly following active followers of your competitors. Focus on the strategy. It is really important to make sure that you auto-publish only niche-specific viral content. I mean, you should already understand this, but if you are still fuzzy on the concept, you have to make sure that all the curated materials that you are producing are on point. 
They have to be niche specific. Also, they have to be tried and proven. Otherwise, they have already been shared and retweeted. This is not new stuff. This is not stuff that somebody just came up with. This is material that has been going around because you know people are interested in this stuff. Next, you build an organic following of niche-specific followers by reverse engineering your competitors, following by just simply going through your competitors, looking at their follower list, and cherry-picking the most niche-specific active followers. If your stuff is truly niche-specific and you make it a point to add value to the lives of people checking out your materials, don't be surprised that a comparatively high proportion of people you followed will end up following you back. The name of the game here is to get niche followers by using niche-specific content. This can increase the chances of you succeeding with your conversion page content. Of course, nothing is guaranteed, but if you follow all the steps above and your followers are very niche-focused, your chances of converting these people into actual buyers can be quite high.